is your mathematics ncrt of cbsc this is your second chapter triangles right last session we have completed about a very important theorems i hope children you are all perfect right what are the theorems bpt converse of bpt corollaries we have learned and we have seen with some examples right so those are the basics we apply for this exercise that is your exercise 2.2 okay let's see our first main children if d is parallel to bc in two figures they have given d is parallel to bc find ec you need to find what is ec in the first problem second find ad length right look here children same type of figures what we have done in our last session triangles so this is a line which divides the triangle into two equal ratios right now what you remember by seeing this children d is parallel to bc so what do you remember if lines are parallel therefore the other two sides are in proportion which statement it is it is a basic proportionality theorem statement so now consider this how do you do this children so directly given d is parallel to bc therefore by applying bpt by applying bpt what's your bpt here apply ad by db is equal to ae by ec never try to by heart any letters according to the figure you need to write your statements by basic proportionality theorem ad by db is equal to ae by ec now look here children what is ad length 1.5 substitute here what is db 3 so before starting here children you need to write what are all given in given data then you have to start this so what is ae 1 cm ec we don't know ec ec only we need to calculate so now what you are going to do remove this decimal how do you remove this decimal put zero in the denominator that is 15 by 30 is equal to 1 by ec 15 to so 30 right cross multiply what you are going to get ec is equal to 2 that is 2 cm what is ec length here now children so ec is equal to 2 cm observe your second figure what is missing ad is missing again i can remember bpt theorem yes or no if d is parallel to bc apply bpt now see a is the vertex so here children apply the given data first first write the given data then see here what you need to find ad is equal to question mark now d is parallel to bc what is your bpt ad by db is equal to ae by ec what is ad length here we don't know what is db length here children it is 7.2 and ae 1.8 ec is equal to 5.4 so here children when we need to convert your decimal 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 so what happens here decimal decimal can be cancelled ad by 7.2 is equal to 1.8 by 5.4 see observe here children this point and this point instead of removing this decimal you can put zero removing this decimal you can put zero 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 can be cancelled so directly if you want you can write it as ad by 7.2 is equal to 18 by 54 18 by 54 will it cancels yes 18 3 is a 54 so now drag this here what you are going to do ad by 7.2 send this side it will be multiple 7.2 i will write it as 72 by 10 into 1 by 3 okay with 3 cancel 3 twos are 6 3 fours are 12 that is 24 by 10 is equal to 2.4 therefore what is your ad length here children 2.4 centimeters 
okay is this clear what is the missing side you see that ratio cross multiply and try to equate you are going to get the answer let's see the second problem here children look here e and f are points on the sides pq and pr so let me do a triangle here children so what is that e e and f are the points on the sides pq and pr right let me mark here p q and this is r so observe here carefully e and f are the points on the sides pq and pr respectively of a triangle pqr for each of the following cases state whether ef is parallel to qr or not so observe here children uh, if we need to check whether it is parallel or not what do you remember converse of bpt converse of bpt what it is if your ratios are in proportion if your ratios are in proportion then the line is parallel to another side of a triangle right so we don't know whether the ratios are in proportion or not we don't know we don't know whether th those two are parallel or not we don't know so something given here in your question so according to that substitute first and then apply bpt formula if it satisfies ratios are in proportion if you get then those two will be parallel okay let's start doing here so now given first question children pe 3.9 cm eq 3 cm pf 3.6 cm fr 2.4 cm so here what is given all the sides ratio given right so let's take here let us consider consider basic proportionality theorem here so if we get the ratios in proportion then they will be parallel but now what is that pe by eq is equal to pf by fr pe by eq is equal to pf by fr what is pe 3.9 what is eq 3 what is pf 3.6 what is fr 2.4 okay so now look here children this decimal and this decimal will be removed how in order to remove this decimal it will be zero here in order to remove this decimal zero zero will be cancel directly i will write it as this point bring the zero down 30 is equal to 36 by 24 how did i write here children i have removed the decimal so now if it cancels we can cancel here so now what it will be 3 13 sa 3 10 sa 13 by 10 we got now here 3 1 sa 3 2 sa 6 3 8 sa 24 now 2 6 sa 12 2 4 sa 8 or again if you want you can do 3 sa 2 2 sa Finally, thirteen by ten is equal to three by two. You got. So observe here. Are these ratios in proportion? No, they are not in proportion. So what do you say? Therefore, they are not equal. If they are not equal, what you can say? Therefore, E F is not parallel to Q R. Is it parallel or not? Check cast. Therefore, this is not. parallel second sub question in this same question same pattern ef or any two points on the two sides pq and pr check whether ef is parallel to qr or not so how do you check here children given value substitute in the figure first pe what is pe 4 cm and qe is equal to 4.5 cm pf is equal to 8 cm okay. rf is equal to 9 cm now how can you prove these two are parallel or not how can you check children when the ratios are in proportion 
then they will be parallel. When they are not in proportion, they won't be parallel. Right? Now, what we are going to take here, let us apply here basic proportionality theorem. What is the basic proportionality theorem here? Apply there. PE by EQ is equal to PF by FR. See you children, there is a rule. If those lines are parallel only, we can apply BPT. Right? But now, we are not applying. We are just checking the ratios. If the ratios are in proportion, then this BPT will be satisfied with the line parallel. Okay? Now, what we are going to do? PE is equal to how much? 4. EQ, 4.5. And what is PF? 8. FR, it will be 9. Okay? Now, remove this decimal, children. If you remove... Put here 0 that is 40 by 45 is equal to 8 by 9. Okay, so now 5 8s are 40, 5 9s are 45. So 8 by 9 is equal to 8 by 9. Therefore, both the ratios are in proportion. They are equal. Two ratios are equal. If they are in proportion, what you can say? Therefore, that line is parallel to. QR. Therefore, therefore they are in proportion. EF is parallel to QR. By what children? By converse. This is what here? Not direct PPT. This is your converse of BPT. If ratios are in proportion, then they are parallel. So, your last sub question in your second main children here, third one. That is PQ is equal to 1.28 centimeter. Let's write here. PQ means full length here. That is how much? 1.28 centimeter. PR is equal to how much? From P to R it is 2.56 centimeters. What is PE? 0.18 centimeter. PF 0.36 centimeter. Oh, it's little confusing, right? Some children do mistake children this problem. So, listen here carefully. So, now you are familiar with what is a BPT, Converse, Corollary 1, Corollary 2, Corollary 3. If you know these corollaries, you can apply directly. So, look here, big side by small side, you know what, which corollary it is? 2, Corollary 2. Right? So, directly by corollary 2 of uh, basic proportionality theorem, directly you can apply. Or, you want to apply BPT only if you need. So, if you want to apply BPT, means how do you do? Find this side first, then you apply BPT. So, anything is better children. No, don't worry, don't be confused. No problem. Okay? So, let's do here. How do you do here? I need. So, by converse of by converse of BPT. What is the converse of BPT here children? Let's take the ratio PE by EQ is equal to PF by FR. What is this condition again? If your ratios are in proportion, they will be parallel. For that reason, we are considering the ratios first. So now, PE by, I don't know EQ. How do you get EQ children? Observe here. PQ minus PE is EQ. How? Let me show you. PE plus EQ is equal to PQ. When you want EQ, then PE is on the other side. PQ minus PE. That you write it here now. PQ minus PE is equal to. Same manner, FR. How do you write FR children here? FR also same manner. PR minus PF. PR minus PF. What is your PE value? 0 0.18 by PQ value is 1.28 minus PE value is 0 0.18 is equal to PF 0 0.36 by PR value is 2.56 minus PF value is 0.36. Now do the subtractions here carefully children. Let's do rough work here. 
1.28 what it will be 0 and 2 minus 1 will be 1 1.10 you are going to get so now 0 0.18 by 1.1 you can write or 1.10 you can write right that is equal to 0 0.36 by directly you can do or you do like this rough work 0 0.36 that will be how much here children? 6 minus 6 will be 0. 5 minus 3 will be 2. 2.20. 2.20. Now look here children. If you want you can remove your decimals. So in order to remove this I will apply here two zeros. And in order to remove this apply here two zeros. So directly I will write it as 18 by 110. Here also same manner 36 by 220. Let's check it out. Will it cancel anyway? 2 9s are 80 and 2 5s are 250. 5s are 110. So further I cannot cancel. 9 by 55. Okay, let's write later there. So now again, look here. Will it cancel anyway? 2 1s are 2 8s. Then again 2 1 1 0. Then again 2 9s and then it will be 55. So, what you got here children? 9 by 55 is equal to 9 by 55. Yes, the ratios are equal. They are in proportion. If they are in proportion, what you can say EF is parallel to QR. So, if they are parallel, like this. So, every problem children, they did not give you figure. So, you have to draw your own figure and then compare. If they are parallel, put their parallel symbol. Okay. Therefore, by converse of your basic proportionality theorem, ratios are in proportion. Therefore, they are parallel. So, with this, we are going to end our session children. We are going to continue in our next session. Thank you all.